okay so I like to divide this room into two categories okay let's say category A and category B category A I divide this set of people where I describe you with your capabilities and your strengths and side B where I describe you with your incapabilities and all your faults or all your dis discriminate you basically and I say that you're incapable of moving ahead which side would you like to sit on this side or this side exactly so this is my daughter's journey that's how it began there goes the water box okay so Nora was born with Down syndrome and that label of course came with a stigma and that's that her worth was just defined by that and people just defined her by her limitations and her incapabilities but me as a mother I couldn't see that I couldn't see somebody define her with her incapabilities or her limitations or even something that she wasn't even given a chance to do I mean even she was born and she was labeled and she was just you know this is what she's able to do and this is what she's not able to do even before she made up her own life and I just realized that my vision before Nora was so limited as well my experience in life was so limited I mean if I heard a story about a lady who went through whatever it took to get pregnant which included going through a miscarriage going through millions of surgeries to get pregnant and to keep the pregnancy and then go through uh, you know had an early labor only to find out that the, her daughter was born with a label and she was not welcomed in the world and I would be like no way that's not going to be my story because things like that don't happen to people like us we always think that don't we until it does and what seemed like a series of unfortunate events actually turned my life around it changed my perception in ways I didn't know it just made me see life in a whole different perspective and that is what made me and my past three and a half years to where I stand today and I wouldn't want to change it for the world because I am so much more than what I used to be three and a half years ago what I see now sorry if I just my whole perception changed and because I was introduced to a whole different world where which I was completely oblivious to I I was introduced to a world where I was taught real unconditional love we all say we know what unconditional love is but imagine you're given a child you find you're un incapable of finding their work you're like the child has to defend themselves their existence and my daughter taught me to be strong to be fierce and choose that happiness is my choice I choose to be happy <laughs> okay so Nora has to work 10 times harder than any of us to achieve the things that she has to effortlessly like and another child it would be an effortless thing but for Nora she has to work 10 times harder so when I see her struggle and I see all the things that she goes through for me it's a struggle that I see her struggling but for her that is her way of life I don't think she knows to live life any other way and she is so happy doing it she is a happy child not right now but generally she is yeah and I I feel like there's so much to learn from a two-year-old she's happy she's I mean I feel she's struggling but she really is living the best version of her life every single day she's happy in her own skin she's she knows she's worthy because she's born the way she is she doesn't know to live any other way and sorry my phone's just gone off so um, and I realized one thing that what she was trying to teach me all this time was try to be determined try to be uh, try to not be in the rat race that's the biggest thing take your own time take your own pace you don't really have to be in a rat race you don't really have to compare yourself to others because that's not going to make any that's not going to make you feel good about yourself in any way and she also taught me that 
living through failures and enjoying your failures is going to be so much more you know effective and so much more is going to make you feel so much happier when you actually achieve the success because you enjoyed the whole process you've enjoyed your failures you're enjoying your success as well so overall you're creating a fulfilled life experience for yourself through your entire journey of living and and the most in the other most important thing that Nora has taught me is that we decide our own worth we decide our glass ceiling we decide our limitations and we're the one who can break our limitations by changing our perception all I had to do was just change my perception of how I saw Nora and sky was the limit and it's just I think we all have to believe in our ability to achieve something to a point where it becomes a matter of fact. Like the sun is going to rise. That is a matter of fact. It is going to happen. So if we put our belief system and if we believe in our dreams to a point where we know it's going to happen, no matter what it takes, it's just a matter of time that we would be achieving them. And above all, we just rise and we move forward through all the struggles in life because we believe in ourselves. And the only thing that matters most is that either we are a drop in the ocean or we can be the ocean in a drop. How we choose to live.